Mark Miller of Improve Our World, here improving our world one person, one family at a time. So thinking about how to improve your life, remember there's an option where you can use technology to guide your thoughts, to cycle positive thoughts about your life, positive thoughts about your life and cycle them effectively to actually imprint that positive information into your brain so that when you're out in your life, you're having those positive thoughts that you've chosen and selected and practiced and cycled a little bit every day, right? The more you do, the more results you get too. But if you do it a little bit every day, your life's going to change. And it's going to change what? Towards those positive things that you're thinking and inputting into your brain. You can imprint more in less time at improveourworld.com. Please subscribe. So let's talk about, though, the power and grace of ability. At any point in time in your life, there's always going to be the need for strength and knowledge. If you don't have knowledge, you could be oblivious to something negative happening to you. Then you're oblivious. You're ignorant and unless you're being hurt, right? So many of us lived our life. I know that as a young man, as I think about my life, it happened to me a lot. There was just a better option that was available to me and I couldn't see it, right? So your strength is to be as a human being is to be present and focused and aware of my options, have enough knowledge to know what's happening to me now. And is there a better option for me to choose, right? Strength of knowledge. And then, of course, when you have the knowledge, you need the skill to move around in your life, right? Move around your body and interact with your home and your workplace and school or whatever your age is and wherever you are, right? And that skill has a little speed sometimes. Sometimes super duper fast is not necessary. Sometimes super slow might be necessary. <laughs> but the, the, the skill brings, brings some speed, right? To do what? To be happy, to take care of your life. And it derives from strength of knowledge, practicing, using, using. You're using your strength to use your knowledge of the time and space of your life. You develop that skill and a little bit of speed very importantly. And it does seem to be the last one to come is endurance and ultimately wisdom. Wisdom is the, is the big kahunga, the big, the big thing that will change your life more than anything. When you have the wisdom to look out into your life and understand you're a human being interacting with other people in society, whatever your age and your gender and the amount of money that you have to live your life creates the limitations of what you can experience in your life. And if you practice your strength and you live in the mode of practice 24-7, you're always competing with yourself to be the most effective you can be, the most skillful, the most significant self you can be. So you get more happiness because you're being the best person you can be. You're enjoying it. You're practicing. You're knowing that mistakes happen. No big deal. Keep going. Keep going. One of those negatives happens and it's embarrassing. Identify it as a negative and forgive it, accept it and wash it away. Right. That's the other video on anxiety. Right. So when you get this, you get this wisdom to look out into your life, wherever you are, whatever age, whatever your situation, what options are available to you and what can you do to make your life better? It's a great thing to do. And remember, when you first start, there may be options that are available for you and you cannot see them because you don't believe it's a possibility for you. Big thing to get when you first get started. Maybe just go, I want to get positive. <laughs> yeah, I like this, but I know there could be more. <laughs> and you'll probably find more if you've never done any of this work of inner work, psychology, your life, your biology, your psychology. How you doing? What's possible for you? Is there somebody out there that's doing super, super great and the super, super great without the fame, the money's good though, but they're just doing super, super great, right? Is that something that you aspire for? Remember, the fame is more so a distraction. If you're wanting to improve your life, choose health and happiness and a great career, a great occupation, or a great student if you're young to be, to be the best you can be wherever that is, right? And so you look out into the world with wisdom, scan the world, what's possible for you? 
and start moving in that direction, knowing that as you move in that direction, you'll see more when you travel down that road, right? You travel down that path of heading in a positive direction. You'll get to where you can see options that are becoming available to you that are actually available for you, but you just maybe couldn't see them. It's part of the journey, the journey of life, the journey of understanding life and choosing better options. You can do all of this at improveworld.com. Please subscribe, please uh, sign up, and please start meditating, start manifest meditating. New school way. Don't do it old school way, my suggestion. Don't just meditate and go to silence. Learn your power words. Learn your words that give your brain something to do that is good for you, like to be aware. Right? If you're not aware, you're oblivious and you're a victim of whatever your circumstance is. Right? But if you're aware of yourself and the behavior of others and the forces that are at work, and then you look out and you pick something that you want and you stay positive, you keep doing that. You'll create belief, right? At being effective. At nothing more. At first, just practicing. But may, you may not see any outside world where people are acknowledging or you're having the money or the releasing the weight for days and weeks. It's the process, right? But when you're aware that you're making those changes and you're having an effective day, that will give you peace of mind. It will give you happiness because you know you're moving in the right direction. You can fine tune the direction later. Just move in a positive direction for what's what make you happy, right? And then when you when you appreciate the fact that you're engaged in this what logical simple stuff to improve your life, right? You can appreciate and you'll expect yourself that you made progress. And hey, I'm going to make progress tomorrow because I made progress today and yesterday, right? That's power. Power of expectation is huge. It's faith. If you believe in God or you don't believe in God, remember this powerful truth. Prayer and faith are the same as contemplation and expectation. They're just named different. Both ways you're thinking about something positive, something, something holy, right? Something positive for you. And then you're developing the faith inside that this positive thing that you're praying or contemplating for is going to happen, right? Faith, expectation. Start using it in your life. I was always a, uh, wanted to see it and prove it, you know, and had to see it centrally, century and experience myself or else I couldn't trust it, right? Big mistake on my fault, my part. I missed out on that in my younger years, my 30s and my 40s. I had trust. I, I worked hard. I, I worked hard. I was a little successful when I was younger, right? But, but, I didn't use the faith as much. And do, what do you want to put faith in? The cycle that God or nature has put here. That when we when we engage in the process, we can have peace of peace of mind and happiness that we're moving in the right direction. And these words put us in that direction, right? Learn your power language and to reduce the mindless self-talk that's distracting you from being present in the moment and using wisdom to choose a better option, right? And uh, this is here for you. I love you. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you listen to another video or more importantly, start practicing. Go back and find the negatives in your life. Accept them. Forgive them deeply and completely. And replace it with a positive. Something that's going to allow you to be more effective today. To be a better mommy and a daddy. If you're a mommy and a daddy, I'm for you. I'm for you, baby. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to give away uh, a hit for me for parents that have children, maybe. If not, I'm gonna give them a reduced price. Because you see, I believe that parenting is the cause or low level of parenting is the cause of human suffering. Of course, you know, the lack of information given to parents is, is the cause of this, right? Lack of uh, free access to information that enables them to see the benefit of practice and then engage in practice, right? That's that's what's needed for the world to, hey, maybe get rid of hate and violence and wars at some point in the future. Right now, though, let's just make your life and my life better, okay? Let's be practiced. Let's love and forgive, identify, accept, love, forgive, practice, aspire, dream, have fun, be happy, give somebody a hug. I love you. Hope you come back soon and please subscribe. Thank you.